Due to unforeseen circumstances, our resident artist was unable to provide visuals for this episode of Establishing Connection. Instead, the character of Profelicity Bathrobe will be represented by the head of a small possum. Thank you. Um, uh, hello. Uh, are you comfortable? I'm going to be talking for a little while, so you might want to get comfortable where you are. Uh, where you are. <laughs> so, um, yes, if you're here, then you're probably wondering how to introduce someone to video games. Uh, first off, good on you, mate. Second, you've got an uphill fight on your hands, and this is not going to be easy for either of you. Third, it is totally worth it, and I'll do what I can to make it easier. A first order of business, which game do you pick to start them off on? I've got a few specific suggestions, but first let me lay down some general guidelines for choosing someone's first game. 1. Choose something recent, preferably from this console generation with good visuals and audio. Others have stressed this before, but this is the game that years from now they should be able to look back on as the thing that got them hooked on our medium. 2. The simpler the controls, the better. Newcomers tend not to have the best fine motor skills, and this will make things easier in the long run. Which brings us rather neatly to... 3. The more fluid the controls, the better. Responsive, tight controls feel just as good for rookies as for veterans. And 4. Pick something tangential to their interests. Give them something to identify with that they can ease into and enjoy just as much as an interactive setting as a static one. That should put you on the right path for choosing their introduction to this wonderful world, but if you want further advice, here's a few titles that appeal to a person's particular interests while still being relatively accessible. Now bear in mind, this is by no means a comprehensive list. A roster that included a gaming counterpart for every individual interest would be massive. These are just a few blanket suggestions meant to abridge the selection process, or at least get you thinking about more fitting titles. That said, here are those games. If the player enjoys a fantasy setting, I'd recommend Bastion and Ico. Bastion is one of the most aesthetically pleasing games in recent memory with an immense amount of playstyle variety. As for Ico, I cannot stress this enough, have them play this before they play Shadow of the Colossus. It may be grander and more impressive, but it's just a little too complex for someone's first game ever. Once you finish Ico, then move on to Shadow of the Colossus. They will be well prepared by that point. If they enjoy a sci-fi setting, I'd have to say Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like Bastion, the player has the freedom to play however they want, and the controls are not overly complex. It's also on multiple platforms, so there's a better chance you'll have access to it. If they enjoy westerns, you need to look no further than Red Dead Redemption. I'm not gonna lie, getting a newcomer into this game is measurably harder than the other examples. Even so, there is no better title that captures the essence of the spaghetti western than this game. If they enjoy things with a colorful atmosphere and a dark tone, or really just anything by Tim Burton or Joan Vasquez, you want Psychonauts. Again. Simple controls, varied gameplay, great aesthetic. If they enjoy horror, you might be tempted to turn to classics like Silent Hill or Resident Evil, but trust me, those games do not play well for newcomers. I speak from experience here. Don't do it, at least not at first. Instead, look to Condemned Criminal Origins and Alan Wake. The first is a good choice for all the previously stated reasons, but Alan Wake is a little different. All in all, it doesn't really measure up as a very good survival horror game, at least when compared to other titles. But where this game shines is as an intermediary. If the player even remotely likes the work of Stephen King, they will love this game. Another bit of counterintuitiveness, if they enjoy espionage or military stories, especially Tom Clancy, do not choose Splinter Cell. It's a little too complicated. Instead, I can't help but re-recommend Deus Ex Human Revolution. As much as I don't like using one game for two slots, the parallels are just too strong to dismiss. Splinter Cell will still be there afterwards. If they enjoy games like Chess or Risk, I would really have to say Fire Emblem. While any of the games are adequate starting points, except Radiant Dawn, which is just a bit too difficult, personally I would recommend either the first American Game Boy Advance release or the Path of Radiance for GameCube, because they both have stronger plots and characters. For people who enjoy sparring wits and logic, it pretty much goes without saying Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton. Kind of a no-brainer there. For games that enhance general gaming skills while still being fun, Plants vs. Zombies and Robot Unicorn Attack. Really, any casual game like Bejeweled, Peggle, or Tetris will be adequate, but they don't do as good a job of fostering these abilities. They are fun ways to build up the skills that come into play in other, more complicated games. And as for a general introduction to video games, Portal. This is completely interest independent. If you can't think of something else, think of Portal. It may not be the first game they play, but it should be one of the first. If you skip this, they are missing out. Um, okay, that's enough for now. Hopefully this has helped you on your way towards putting together a solid introduction. If you have any suggestions of your own, the comments are opened up right down there. Uh, good luck, and have fun. The professor made a video last week that you might enjoy. Oh, and if you liked this one, that thumbs up button down there helps us a lot. So does subscribing if you want to see more of it. That would be really grand of you.